This is part four of a series to introduce the eight thinking maps. I'll be releasing one video each day. Subscribe to get notified. Use the tree map to classify, sort, group, categorize, list, and elaborate ideas and things. Remember your friend from part one, the one you wanted to introduce to Xcolid Draw? Let's assume your friend got excited and asked you about the types of drawings people have in their obsidian wall. You could use a tree map to explain. In this example, you may want to do a bit of brainstorming first using a circle map. To save us time, we're going to skip the brainstorming part and jump right to classification. By the way, this is another example of combining different thinking maps to facilitate your thinking process. I'll start by dragging ideas from my circle map one by one. As I do, I will look for groups I could cluster items into. After the first few items, I notice there are a couple that are related to software development. I then decide to group process maps and organizational charts together since they might both play a part in business process reengineering or BPR in short. After further observation, I notice thinking related items. There also appear to be many elements in my brainstorming related to illustration. I continue this process and find different meeting notes, presentations, and project-related drawings. After I'm done with the initial grouping, I start to organize my groups into a tree, all the while looking for commonalities between the groups. This is how I end up with programming and BPR on the left, followed by tools for thought and meeting notes. As these groups start to evolve, I notice similarities between the groups and create the design and notes categories. As I continue this process, I decide to promote illustrations and make it a group title. I then move storytelling and presentations next to illustrations as I feel there is similarity between the two. To help with aligning text, I do a bit of formatting by first grouping items using Xcolid Ross Control G shortcut and then aligning objects to the top. Illustrations and presentations fit well under the storytelling category. From here, I finalize remaining categories and add some formatting to make the tree better readable. Xcolidraw is quite amazing. Would you have thought that there are so many things and probably much more you can do with Xcolidraw in Obsidian? Tree maps are excellent for classifying, grouping, and categorizing ideas. This concludes the introduction of tree maps. In the next video, I will cover brace maps. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when part 5 is released. Thank you for watching.